Hey everyone, and welcome back to our devotional series for this week based on Seriously Fun. If you don't know me, my name's Adam, and me and my wife, Jason, we look after New to Faith in the Manchester campus, and what a joy it is, and what a joy it is to be back with you today. So Jesus, he lived the ultimate audacious life, and as a church, us, audacious church, we're not looking at building a culture or a lifestyle around an organization. We're building our lives and we're building a culture around a kingdom and a king. And that's Jesus Christ, our Lord and our Savior. So let's start things off again with the verses that we've been focusing on this week. The first one was John chapter 10, verses 10 and 11 in the NIV version, which says, The thief comes only to steal, kill, and destroy. I have come that they may have life and have life to the full. I am the good shepherd. Amen. And then the second key verse that we're focusing on is Proverbs chapter 17, verse 22, NIV version. A cheerful heart is good medicine, but a crushed spirit dries up the bones. Amen. So like you've just heard, Jesus lived the ultimate audacious life. And on top of that, he was seriously fun. Now, we are asking the question, how do I take fun seriously? Yesterday, we looked at maximizing moments and making memories. Lots of M's. Today, our point is to make it a priority. Fun has to come as a standard not as an optional extra. When you buy a new car, there's that sort of standard package that, in all honesty, can be oh, a little bit boring. But then, as you scroll down, as you get further down, you'll see the optional extras. You'll see the fun stuff. Ecclesiastes chapter 8, verse 15, NIV says, So, I commend the enjoyment of life, because there's nothing better for a person under the sun than to eat and drink and be glad. Then joy will accompany them in their toil all the days of the life God has given them under the sun. That sounds amazing. A big hearty amen. Now, let's make having fun something that we prioritize. Busyness can overwhelm us and we can miss out on enjoying life. It takes thought, energy and effort, but it is well worth it to see that smile, that radiant smile on people's faces, to hear the joyful laughter and share those precious memories. So please take that on board today. Think about it, pray over it, and join us tomorrow for another update. Bye for now.